All right, so let's calculate that. I'm going to get screwed up. Brain surgery is a team sport. And for today's operation at UC San Diego Medical Center in Hillcrest, Dr. Clark Chen has 10 people on his team. But one of the most crucial players isn't a doctor, nurse, or technician. It's the MRI machine. Chen will rely on this machine and some special software to guide him every step of the way. In the weeks leading up to the surgery, Chen used state-of-the-art imaging tools to help devise his plan of attack on the brain tumor. And now it's showtime. The patient, 52-year-old Michelle Carpinelli, has been put under, and a small hole has been drilled in her skull. Special instruments are mounted on her head to make sure Chen stays on the right path. And this is exactly where we made the skin incision. And in fact, what we can then also see is to see this in three dimensions, looking at the MRIs superimposed onto the tumor. With conventional surgery, the neurosurgeon calculates where he's supposed to be in the brain, and the equipment guides him there. But he doesn't know precisely where he is. In contrast, the brain scans help Chen get to the right spot with sub-millimeter accuracy. With a real-time MRI, you could actually see the needle physically in the tumor, which is not something that is doable with the conventional surgery. Chen inserts the biopsy needle into Carpinelli's brain. Right in the center, right where we want to be. Scans show he's right on target. Chen extracts a couple of samples from the tumor. Send that for path, please. Okay. I'm going to take one more for permanent. We're getting two specimens, and we sent them now for pathology analysis. And so, and now we're getting the scan to make sure that at the site of the biopsy, that no harm is done. Hey, Peter. Yeah, How's it look? A few minutes later, the pathologist calls. He tells Chen the first sample was inconclusive for cancer. You may want to consider getting us a, another piece for permanent. Well, the, we're smack in the center of it, uh, based on the MRI. So take a look at the second one and see. Okay, we'll let you know. Okay. The second sample comes back as inconclusive, too. So Chen goes back in the operating room and extracts some other pieces of the tumor for the pathologist. These samples eventually confirm what Chen suspected all along. The tumor is malignant. Now it's time to destroy it. But first, Chen tests a flexible laser probe to make sure it's working properly. We're now slowly inserting. Then he slowly inserts it into Carpinelli's brain. I feel now a very firm area. I know that's the tumor. This is a critical moment. Chen and his team do another brain scan to confirm that the laser is in exactly the right spot. It's all systems go. Activating. From the control room, Chen fires up the laser with a foot pedal. Using what's called MRI thermography, Chen monitors the temperature within the tumor. That's right. Chen carefully That's right. controls the laser so to make sure it's not heating up other parts of the brain adjacent to the tumor. After about five minutes, Chen gives the word. Okay, I think we're good. It means that the entire tumor has been destroyed. A final scan tells the tale. So at the end of the surgery, uh, we were able to visualize whether or not there's any harms related to the surgery, which there isn't, and we're also able to visualize that we've destroyed the entire tumor. Um, the team wheels Carpinelli out of the operating room and begins to wake her up. Can you wiggle your toes, dear? All there right. You go. Good. Michelle, you're awesome. Good job. Perhaps the most amazing thing about the surgery is Carpinelli will get to go home the next day. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.